Hey guys, Dazzle here, and today I'll be doing a video on what few things I hate about CSGO Lounge. Uh, one of them is, you've probably already guessed actually, I'll go on my trades because I've got one here I think. Um, it could be on this one maybe. I'll go trade. Yeah, scammers. See, this guy, um, 92,000 messages. Like, you just know already he's a scammer. Um, he probably has a case hardened, but all of his, um, say if we go on his profile, they'll always have this perfect one. It's, I've been on like three of them, and they're all this uh, exact image, so if you get these, don't get scammed by them. Um, I don't know, CSGO Lounge, I hope, like, they eventually ban them. Like, if I inspected this in-game, it'd be nowhere near blue at all. Um, but they really need to fix it. There's so many. Every single trade you get, you basically get um, one of these. Um, also, what I hate is when people say they... I don't know. Say if I was going for this. Uh, let's go. Say, I don't know. Um, say this was a knife that I could trade for mine. And he put it there, and he posted loads. Well, I don't know I'm going to. Um, I'd go on his profile, and he probably wouldn't even have that knife. And I don't understand why people do it. Like, they keep refreshing their trades when they don't even own that knife. Or, say, say they've got one knife, you go on the profile, and they've got zero items in their inventory. Like, I don't understand what's the point of trying, just, you know, putting that trade in there. Um, also, one scamming thing I really hate is, say, like, uh, I could, should probably find them. Maybe this, Statue of Minimal Wear. It's gone his profile. Uh, he's probably going to have a. Is it, can you please load? No. Right. On his profile. Oh, his private profile, really? Anyway, he'll have like a. You know, a Stetra Battle Scarred one. And it's really horrible. Like, you're never gonna fall for it. There's so many. They should really try and clean them up a bit. Because. Also. People, you know if some are cheating when they say, like, say, one for one and very fast trade, I'm on tablet, so no post here, things like that, um, because they want you to just actually, like, you know, do it really fast so you don't notice, um, but make sure you take care, because, like, I've had a lot of people try to scam me before, um, but I'm, like, very cautious of it, so I know, like, you know, if they're trying to scam, things like that. Um, but they really need to clean up, like, say spam messages, say, like, um, I think I should have one on maybe this. We will to pay uh, via PayPal on that. Um, I'll go first, too. Things like this, he's a scammer. Um, I'm pretty sure he is, anyway. But people that do that, they're definitely going to scam you, somehow. Um, I don't understand why they try to do it. Like, on Cisco Lounge, never do it for money, unless you know, like, confidently, and you've been, like, trading for a lot, long while, and you know that you're guaranteed you're going to do that and get it, you know, get it properly. So, yeah, this is just a quick video, just to say what I don't like about Cisco Lounge. Other than that, Cisco Lounge is great for trading and everything like that. It's the one I've used for a long while. I'm, I'm not really into Reddit trading. I, you know, I don't really go on Reddit, so I don't know things like that. But, anyway, thanks for watching the video, and see you. Take me right back to the start Fantasize we ain't apart Whoa.